Welcome to the Build Environment channel. We are happy to share your key procedures for building a home. Before you start, you need to look for the construction permitting. This is the location of the project. The project is located in Rwanda, Chigali City, Kitwekido District. In the plot, there are two old existing houses. In order to start the new project, we have to demolish the existing old houses and prepare the ground. Before starting any work, it's mandatory to fix a construction sign post, which provides all the necessary information. Demolition is complete. It's time to prepare the ground, start organizing the site by locating the office, store, and various building materials like sand, gravel, stones, and so on. After properly organizing the locations, the next is the setting out of the building. When setting out the building, we carefully fix the timbers at the same level and adjust the right angles. This will facilitate the next adjustment of the edge and the middle axis of the building. It's also important to respect the measurements given in the drawings and also to collectively mention the numbers of each axis to avoid the later confusion and errors. In order to save time, some works can be carried out in parallel, such as the preparation of steel structures, foam works, the water storage, and also start ordering various building materials. As the plot was inhabited, during the excavation works, we found some deposits of debris that needed to descend the pump to reach the hard ground. When you make sure that you have reached the hard ground, the next you apply the blending concrete before fixing the steel and foam works. When fixing steel structures and formworks, you must follow and observe all axes X and Y. Uh, this is the right time to pay attention and make measurements checks as it is now adjustable before you do any concrete work. Before starting any concrete work in Rwanda, it's compulsory to request an inspection from the city of Chigali. This request is made via the website bpmis.gov.lua. need to fix steel works and foam works very well so that they do not move during concrete work. When mixing concrete, we use a wheelbarrow. Here we use two barrels of gravel, one wheelbarrow of good sand and water. <laughs> 
When doing concrete works, vibrate all angles to leave no gaps and make sure your concrete is stronger. It's also a good idea to do a laboratory test to make sure that the mixture is good and the strength is sufficient according to the design done. While one team works on the concrete, another will prepare the form works and the steel works for the sub columns that will save time. For the finished footings, you can now start preparing the sub columns. In order to control soil insects, it's advisable to apply a layer of bitumen on all underground structures. Now is the time to build the hardcore foundation that will receive the ground beam. When one part of the building is at another stage, the remaining part should also start so that you don't leave it behind. 